think seeing a nutritionist is so important for everyone just to get a general sense of how to live a healthy lifestyle, food-wise, food and exercise-wise. I think it's important to know that there's a balance, that you can still enjoy the foods that you like, but knowing the right portions, knowing the right balance. Nutrition is so important for both men and women during pregnancy and even before pregnancy. What's important for women when they're trying to conceive is to eat a variety, have a balanced diet. Now is the time to include fruits and vegetables, to incorporate lean proteins and dairy products into their daily routine. It's also very important to include water. A lot of medications that many women take uh, while they're going through the fertility process can be very bloating. So I always recommend having lots of liquids throughout the day to help de-bloat. For men, I definitely recommend trying to limit the amount of caffeine and also alcohol in their diet. So limit their alcohol to one alcoholic beverage a day instead of pooling all of their alcohol on the weekend, which most people do. Prenatal vitamins are so important to have when you're preparing for your pregnancy. So now's the time to start taking your vitamins. They are filled with folic acid, calcium, iron, which are so important, especially in the beginning stages of pregnancy. There's a lot of discussion these days about calcium and fertility. And although there's not enough research to confirm that calcium will help with fertility issues, I still recommend including at least one source of full fat dairy in every day. Many women who are trying to get pregnant or who are pregnant are very concerned about the consumption of fish. And many women avoid fish. I recommend getting fish that's low in mercury. Salmon, tilapia, cod are great fish sources. On the other hand, fish that are high in mercury should be avoided including swordfish, king mackerel, and tuna in a can that's called albacore or white. Definitely you can stick to the light packed tuna if you like your tuna. If you don't like fish, I still recommend getting a source of omega-3 fatty acids and you can get that from walnuts or flax seeds. I counsel my patients on how to eat throughout pregnancy, whether it be before pregnancy during pregnancy, we're trying to lose weight before fertility treatments. I want them to go home with something that's customized, individualized for their own needs. I look at their habits, I look at their daily routine, and then plan something that's realistic for them. Seeing a nutritionist is not about dieting. It's about learning to live a healthy lifestyle throughout this journey.